All right, uh, I'm going to go through a couple things on my workbench and uh, just talk about some of the components that I find to be pretty helpful when building quadcopters. As you can see here, I've got kind of a project in process. This is a new kit that, uh, that I picked up recently, actually just last week. Um, the Mini Quad Bros uh, ZMR250 Racing Quad. So it's a, it's a really nice kit so far. Um, has some really small ESCs you can see here. and um, It's got the knees 32 and anyway, so it's a work in process, but uh, I was putting that together tonight and I thought, you know, I'd just post a few pictures about my, uh, or what's on my bench and what I'm using because I know a lot of times that'll, that'll be a question that's asked in the forums. So first thing, um, you definitely need a good soldering iron. I have this Weller that I've had for a while, and uh, I've got a tip on here. I think it's a ST7 tip. Um, so that's uh, you can see it's tinned, uh, which basically just means there's solder on the tip of it, and that helps. You know, you want to always keep your tip nice and clean and tinned. Um, <clears throat> I've also got this little brass wire. I forget what it's called, but it's basically, you know, you use it um, before you solder, and it helps keep your tip nice and clean, get all the gunk off of it um, in between soldering. Um, got an X-Acto knife, so this is very handy for stripping wire and <coughs> doing things like that. You never know when you'll, you'll need that, or cutting wire. Also have, of course, scissors, so just some, I think I got these at Menards. Um, also related, uh, goes without saying probably, but some 6040 rosin core solder. I like the kind that has the uh, the flux in it as well. I think I think this has flux in it. I'm not positive, but but that uh, basically just helps helps you get a really good uh, solder connection. And then this is a solder sucker. So the idea behind that is is if you have uh, some excess solder that you want to get rid of, you push this little lever down and then it creates a vacuum and it basically will pick up the solder off of the you know when you're when you've got a hot joint it'll pull it up and then um, you'll just eject it when you push down that's a pretty handy tool um, next thing I have let's see um, you know of course the the power drill comes in handy um, especially when you're putting some parts in with this mini mini bro or mini quad bros kit I had to um, screw some of these screws in because the frame was a little some of the holes weren't big enough or, or were just kind of misaligned so that comes in handy you also see I've got uh, some heat shrink here this is really nice um, when you're whenever you're soldering and you want to cover up the the wires um, you know where you soldered the joints uh, it's very handy to put that on there so you can see like with this XT60 connector there's the the heat shrink here the black and the red that I put on there so that way uh, you don't have to worry about those um, you know having a hot connection and touching something that shouldn't that were exposed all right um, besides that I think it's uh, although I'm not terribly organized just because I'm kind of in the midst of a project right now um, it's it's good to have some storage so I have this, uh, I get this at Harbor Freight, but basically keep all my different quadcopter parts and Velcro zip ties and, and whatnot in these. JST connectors, um, extra XT60 connectors, you can see some uh, bullet connectors that I took off of um, a quad because it was just uh, kind of tired of having the extra weight there. Um, then I've got a good pair of pliers is nice, you know, you definitely want to have your, your pliers handy. Uh, for uh, pretty obvious reasons and uh, epoxy this comes in handy especially when you're doing FPV gear um, I tend to put a solder joint let's see if I can find one here uh, or not a solder joint um, epoxy on the uh, where the antenna you can't really see it on this but where the antenna hits the uh, coax is a good spot to put a little touch of epoxy uh, here you can probably see it here a little bit yeah, it's kind of hard to see on this quad but under here um, hmm. oh something that 
I find very uh, relaxing, especially in between soldering or or when I'm just trying to take a break, is this uh, really uh, fun lava lamp back here. So picked that up on clearance somewhere, and I think I spent like five bucks on it. So well worth the money. A good vice grip um, that you can put on your your bench is good as well. For uh, I use it to hold the frame of the quadcopter when I'm trying to you know screw things in or whatever it may be. You never know when you, you may need one of those. Also, this um, I think I got this on Amazon for like maybe f ten bucks, but it's a scale, handy dandy little scale, and you can check the weight, see what your current uh, weight is on your quad. It's always good to know. I try to keep my builds under five hundred grams, at least for the racing quads. And then uh, you know, having a good multimeter is, is nice. You can check continuity. Um, you can check. Uh, you know, you can check the uh, the volt output. The other day when I was adding FPV to my uh, Phantom here, I ended up um, I wasn't sure what the uh, what this output was, so um, it happened to be coming off the quad, and you know I just checked that, put the plug the battery in, and then, you know switched it to this and checked the volts coming out of it. So it can be very handy. Um, you can also pretty easily check your you know make sure you have a uh, a real carbon fiber frame check the continuity you just turn it to here and make sure that you uh, you have a value coming through one of that puts a little electricity through the frame um, those are probably the main things so I think it's uh, probably something else worth pointing out just it's handy to have a little plastic tray to keep all your parts um, you know especially your screws and things when you're working on them so Alright, hope you found this helpful. Just uh, put any questions in the comments if you have them.